vicious Vikings. Welcome to Historical Wife Swap. This is Mr. Viking and his wife from Norway. Don't cry, dear. Sorry, love, sorry. And this week they'll be doing a wife swap with the Thralls, a family of slaves who live at the bottom of their garden. But how will these two very different classes of Norwegians get along? Mrs. Viking has left her house and husband behind and is about to meet Mr. Thrall. You there. Hi! Ah! Oh, oh, don't be alarmed. I'm just very ugly. Uh, I'm Mr. Thrall. Um, you looking forward to being a Thrall for the week? Am I heck? Come on, it'll be fun. I mean, normally to be a Thrall, you have to be born a Thrall. I'm an uneducated slave, so was my father and my grandfather before him. My kids will be slaves too, won't you, Blobnose? Yeah. <laughs> Jim off the old block, eh? Oh, what a horrible looking boy. It's a girl. Things aren't going any better at Mr. Viking's house. Hello, I'm Mr. Viking. Pleased to meet you. Actually, I'm not going to. So, what's your name? Sorry, I forgot. You slaves need permission to speak, don't you? Well, for the rest of this week, permission granted. You're going to live like my wife now, and she talks whenever she likes. And boy, do I know it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mrs. Viking is getting her hands dirty as she helps Mr. Thrall with his daily chores. Oh. Right, that must be enough. How long have I been digging for now? About three minutes. Three? I haven't worked this hard since... whatever. I've been working this hard since the age of five. And it's not just mending fences and digging for peat. It's building walls, herding animals, grinding corn, and spreading pig muck. <laughs> It's dinner time at the Viking house. Do I have to wear this all the time? No, just while I'm eating. <laughs> Finished. Oh. Um, so how did you and Mrs Viking meet? Snorridatir. Pardon? It's not Mrs Viking, it's Mrs Snorridatir. Viking women don't take their husbands' names. Oh, right. I was 15, she was 15. She was going through a very messy divorce. You what? Yeah, she dumped her first husband because he showed too much bare chest. And then my family paid her to marry me. This Mrs Snotty Flopper sounds awful. She gets paid to get married, she can get divorced when she likes for the silliest of reasons, and she makes us thralls do all the work for her. I tell you, I would like to give her a piece of my mind. Providing she gave me permission to speak, of course. Being a thrall is really hard work. Apparently, Mr. Thrall and his wife have to do this stuff every day for free just because they're ordered to by some bossy, horrible old Viking hag with no manners. Hang on. He means me. It's time for the Vikings and thralls to sit down and see what they've learned over the last week. Um, if I'm honest, sir, I find your wife um, snobbish, arrogant and lazy. Uh, but I must say, she is quite a looker. <laughs> what? Well, uh, your wife is fantastic at housework. She's a great cook. I mean, admittedly, she does look a little bit like rotting meat, but then at least she doesn't tell you what to do all the time. <laughs> tell you what to do? I only take charge because you're always away killing monks or burning down villages. I mean, when was the last time you were around to dig up some peat or put up a fence? Hmm? Don't need to dig up peat or put up a fence because we have thralls for that, don't we? Well, I don't need to cook or clean because we have thralls to do that too. Yes. Good. So basically, what you're saying is things are pretty good as they are, when you, when you think about it. Not for us, they're not. Permission to speak terminated. Yeah, I agree. Back to the bottom of the garden, you mm. two. Do you know what? I forgot how ugly you are. Oh, you say the loveliest things. Come on. 